In this video, we are going to walk through how you can confidently place your first trade using the BMO Investor Line self-directed platform. We'll use a turnkey asset allocation ETF as the security we want to buy. The BMO Balanced ETF portfolio is a possible option for an investor with a long time horizon who is looking for long-term growth but is willing to give up some growth potential in exchange for a smoother ride compared to a pure stock portfolio. It also rebalances automatically and has a very low management expense ratio. It can be a complete portfolio for many investors. From our dashboard, we select the trade link. We are already on the stocks and ETFs tab. Next, we enter in the ticker symbol for the ETF. We click on this field, which opens up a drop down form. We already did some research and found out that the ticker symbol is ZBAL. We entered that in and we see it on the list. We click on select and it's pre entered to the form. In the middle, we see some basic information. We see the ticker symbol here. CA means it is traded on a Canadian exchange. NCF means there are no commission fees to buy this ETF. The name of the ETF appears here. We see the current price here, and it's listed in bold at $36.73 per share. These numbers indicate that the price has gone down during this trading session by 0.12% or 4 cents. The next line is important. It shows that the current highest price being bid to buy shares of ZBAL and the lowest price investors are willing to sell it for the ask. The difference between these two numbers is known as the spread. Let's say we wanted to buy $1,000 worth of ZBAL. First, make sure you select buy as the action. Because we are buying this on an exchange, we have to buy whole units. So we take $1,000 and divide by $36.73 per share, and we get just over 27 shares. The highest whole number we could afford is therefore 27. Normally, we would have to factor in the commission fee, but again, this ETF has no commission fee on investor line. But if we were buying or selling a stock or ETF that was subject to trading commissions, a simple way to figure it out would just be to enter 27 shares and have the form calculate the total amount needed to place the trade. In our case, when we enter 27 in, we see the estimated total is $991.98. When it comes to the order type, it's a good habit to default to using a limit order. Because the price of the shares are changing second by second, it's possible that the price could actually increase to a point that buying the shares will cost more than the $36.73 used for the estimate. A limit order tells the stock exchange to only execute your order at a price with a limit of whatever we choose as the most we are willing to pay. Let's enter in $36.83. We see that the new calculation shows us the maximum we will pay to execute this trade, but it is possible we will get our order filled at a lower price. We'll keep the settlement funds in Canadian dollars, and the last thing we'll do is choose for how long our order is valid. If our order doesn't get filled today, which could happen if the price goes up past our limit price before we can enter in our trade, we can choose to have the order stand in the hopes of getting it filled in the future. That way, if the price falls back down, we can acquire those shares without having to check back every day and keep placing new orders. We click on Submit to review our order, and then click on Submit Order. Placing a trade can seem a bit intimidating at first, but after seeing it in action, you probably already feel a bit more confident to place your own first trade.